What is the punishment for not praying your five salah? There is a punishment in the hereafter. Prescribed punishment in this dunya is not there because it is something up to the judgment of the Muslim ruler or the Muslim judge. If your case was brought in front of them and you still refuse to pray. See, theoretically, a person who doesn't pray at all is not a Muslim. The Prophet ﷺ said, Between a, an individual and a, a, a shirk or disbelief is abandonment of salat. In another narration, he said, whoever abandons salat is a kafir, is a disbeliever. Yes. Now, this is theoretical because in practice, I could come and say, okay, Laith doesn't pray. How do you know? I worked with him 20 years in the office. I never seen him pray Dhuhr or Asr. And his wife comes and says, Laith doesn't pray. How do you know? Maghrib and Aisha, he never prays. So can I label you as a kafir? The answer is no, because you could pray on your own in a place that's secluded, nobody sees you, it's between you. How in practice would I label you as a kafir if I bring you in front a trial bunner uh, or a, a, a judge and he say, uh, pray. And you say, nope, I don't want to pray. Why? So I don't believe in prayer. And I show you, listen, this is in the Quran, this is in the Sunnah. If you don't pray, you're a kafir. I said, no, I'm not a kafir. I believe in Allah, but I don't want to pray. Okay, here's the executioner. He's got that sword. Oh. We're going to take you, chop your head off. Said, I believe in prayer, but I'm not going to pray. Now you're a kafir. So in practice, it's pretty difficult to label someone as a kafir. However, if this is done in a Muslim country that is ruled by Sharia and proven in front of a Muslim judge who is authorized to take such punishment, he can sentence a person to death. Okay. But 99.99%, there is no prescribed punishment worldwide and it's not never been practiced because no one comes to facing death and says, says no. no, I'd rather be killed ra ra rather than pray. Now, in the hereafter, it's different. But this is to Allah's judgment, not to you and me. Sorry. To me, I would throw them all in hell. But to Allah, Azza wa Jal, He knows. Yes. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. He has all account. So He is the most merciful, but who is severe in, in His wrath and anger. And He would know whether this guy is legit or he is a phony. Allah knows.